All right, it's an exciting day on the homestead today. Today we are revamping a previous project. It's time to revamp this greenhouse that has seen better days. It's definitely been one of those projects where not everything has gone as planned, but what we are thinking is if we can get this greenhouse situated, reinforced the way that I've done my research, I think we can actually build a really nice place for us to actually start seeds this year and use it to uh, grow a majority of our own food. What I would like to do is create this area where we can put our seeds out here in the shade of the evening. That way we can like harden them off out there and then we can put one table back in there and one table on this side, get these panels secured down and get everything situated so that way it's much better and stronger against the winds that we had. We had actually quite a few hurricanes this year, so the structure did not hold up as far as the panels staying on the aluminum structure, but um, we're gonna take good care of that and make sure they don't fly out again. And if they do fly out again, then we'll cover it when we get there. So first thing we need to do, I'm gonna go ahead and take all the panels out of here get everything cleaned up and that way we can assess where we are and then that way we can get the tables looked at because the tables are going to play an important role this year so I want to go ahead and get all the panels out get the tables going and then we'll reassess where we are for the rest of the day look at this I already got all my stuff together I put all my tools in this so that way I can put all the hardware keep all my tools together and have everything in a place that I know where it's at, so that way while we're working on this, I don't lose anything, because that's gonna be Please super important. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start taking these panels out and replacing the ones on the top here. Factory, you get these clips. Um, these clips are not really rated to put anything, uh, any kind of pressure against the panels. They'll just fly right out. So um, we had put these. These are little screws with like flat heads on them. Um, and they worked pretty good, but they did not hold the panel the way that I wanted. Um, if we got a super high wind, it'd just blow the panel out again. So after doing some research, we're going to go with these screws. These are a gasketed hardware screw, self-tap, and they are also stainless steel. So you can see the difference here. I think these will do a whole lot better. We're going to put these on the top, get the, the top panels done first, then go ahead and take all these out, and I have to get some more screws. Um, because I ordered these from Amazon. They're supposed to be 70, 75 pieces. I only got 50. So that's a little frustrating, but at the end of the day, what are you going to do? We'll get these panels out and we'll get this started. Hopefully this will keep them in when we get a little bit heavier winds this year because we are closer to the coast and we'll get some hurricanes. And so I want to not lose a panel every time we have a windstorm. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave this one in the center of the panel. And then I'll take out the two here. I'll put two up top, two down here on the bottom that I already have holes for. And then I already have holes for the center, so I will put those there as well. Don't let it ruin. I have 
these little gaskets here. Um, I have four left. I have a whole bag of screws left over, but I don't have all the gaskets. So I guess we're gonna be running to the hardware store early. I'll go ahead and get this panel somewhat in place. We'll go from there. It's super, I'm sorry. It's just super frustrating because you know you order this stuff from Amazon because you don't want to go to the hardware store. You get everything together beforehand. And even when you have all your ducks in a row, you run out of stuff because obviously people can't count. So anyways, we'll get this screwed in. Then we'll go to the hardware store. Let's see if we can find some more of these gaskets. What do you think? I think we look halfway decent. <laughs> we got Joy. We got Baby. Time to go into Lowe's. Good morning, day two of this greenhouse build, and we are going to try and get this table done today, and at least get the panels on the greenhouse. Um, I am thinking that if I can get the panels on the greenhouse and get the tables done, I can get the, the door done tomorrow, but I'm not quite sure. So we're gonna do the best that we can, and we'll get it taken care of from there. But I've gone ahead and I have measured out what I need to measure out for my table. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my very dirty garage together so that way I can cut all my pieces down. And then I'm gonna walk you through what my plan is. So I'm gonna have four or five tiers of shelves and then one section where I can put my trees that I have, my citrus trees, in the greenhouse with it. Not a very big space, but it's something that I just really wanna do, so. We're going to get these boards cut down and then we're going to start assembling everything with pocket holes and pocket screws and hopefully that'll keep everything nice and sturdy. Fingers crossed. Okay, so this is fascinating. There's a bee in there. I don't know if you can see it. But that's really interesting. So I was gonna use these screws. Uh, these are inch and a quarter pocket hole screws, but uh, for the at least the length of the table, but I don't think they're gonna be long enough. So we're gonna use these uh, two and a half inch ones, and then we'll put one, one and a quarter. It's not that they're not long enough, they just don't bite as much as I want them to. Um, so we're gonna use the longer ones, and I think it'll give it a good bite, and then this will just set it in place, so. We gotta take these back out. First table's in, minus the top obviously, but table's in, it looks pretty good. I can put the panels in on this side. Um, I need to charge up my tools anyway, so that works good. I can put the panels in here, and then we'll put this side in, and then we'll probably put a little section back there. But I don't think the pocket hole screws really change anything 
as far as like making it faster they definitely make it a little bit like nicer but they don't necessarily make it faster just because you're sitting there you're drilling out all the holes and stuff but it looks a lot better than the last one that we had in here so I'll take quality over you know time any day It's really starting to look good, but I don't know how much light I have. So we're gonna keep putting this section in. This is the little two foot section that I'm gonna put my trees. And we're gonna keep putting this other section in. I cut one board too long, or too short, I mean. So I don't know, I might have to get some more two by fours, but it's coming along, it's looking good. We'll probably get some of these panels in tonight, but I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. This is looking good. This is looking good. We're looking good. We got the tables in, we got the panels in on that side over there. I'm actually gonna throw these top panels on over here and the side panels and the front panels before I go inside, but I'm losing daylight. We'll pick this up tomorrow. Um, I'll reevaluate where I am tonight and I think it'll be better. It is definitely more structurally sound, so I'm excited about that. We'll see how it goes. Maybe the, the biggest thing is just keeping the panels in. So I hope the panels will stay in with these screws. But we'll finish it up tomorrow and give it a good whirl. Thanks for calling the Irwin Lowe. Calls may be recorded or monitored. Finding an item. And what kind of item is your question about? Um... Tough text. Sorry. I don't know. Thanks. Let me get an associate to help you. Oh uh, yes, I'm trying to find uh, whether or not you guys have something in stock at that store. Ah uh, yes, I just wanted to see if you guys had something um, in stock and if you could put your hands on it. Um, it's just a six millimeter um, Tough Tex panel. I have a item number if that helps you. Sure. What was that item number? One one zero zero three four one. One one zero zero three four one. Yes. Okay, well we'll put you on the brief while I check um the child away hands over just a moment. Okay, no worries. So how many were you needing? Uh, I need to get one. Yes, we have it. Okay. Awesome. I'll be there to get it. Alright, thank you so much. Right, thank you. Ah. You ready? We're gonna go in together? Huh? Gonna go in together? Yeah. All right, let's go. Day three of this greenhouse build and we are bringing in another panel because we lost yet another panel on one of the days that I had off that I couldn't shoot, it was raining. And evidently the weather thought that it was a really nice panel and was going to take it with it. So, we're bringing this big 4x8 panel that I got from Lowe's over here. And I think the game plan for today before I finish up the tables is go ahead, screw in all the panels, get everything situated. So that way I don't lose any more. I don't have to spend any extra on this build. I'm a little over budget on it. But that's okay. It's still going to be a good project because it's still going to allow us to grow most of our own food so that makes it worth it but we're gonna lay this panel out get it cut get these panels replaced and we're gonna get moving i'm gonna tie joy to me so she doesn't run off all the time and get the panels on hopefully we'll finish today
so got the channels in. But I got visitors. What are we doing? Yeah, I'm lapping up some rainwater. Goodness. No, ma'am. How are you? Uh, she's fitting in three month old closing, so not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> Little girl's going away? Yeah. Facey girl. Alright, guys. It is the last day of this video and we've already finished the project but I got a little distracted with some other projects that are going on but let me show you how this thing looks and then I want to talk to you about some things. Alright so we got everything in the greenhouse, uh, the tables are done and all of the slats are in place now. I don't have to worry about the windows flying away because I can open them. The shade cloth is keeping them attached to the greenhouse so I don't have to worry about either one of them flying away now. The shade cloth is great though it is about 90 degrees in here on to like today and the weather outside is 73 degrees so I might have to get another shade cloth to go on but the nice thing about the shade cloth is it was a uh, 10 by 8 and it fits perfectly on top and it was only 20 bucks from Amazon so we'll have to get probably another shade cloth to put on top here to keep it cooler in here because at 90 degrees uh, none of this stuff is going to survive well without a good wind so um, that's okay. That's okay. That's a learning curve, but that's easily fixable. No problem whatsoever. We have started some seeds in here. So we have Swiss chard, we've got curly kale, we've got cabbages, and then I have started a bunch of things that I'm really excited about over here. So we've got some elephant ears that are purple. They're going to go on our front porch. We've got some apple tree starts that we're going to try to propagate. Um, We've got some dogwood over there and some honeysuckle here. Uh, blackberry, golden delicious apples, almond trees back there from some almonds that we had gotten from the Stark Brothers. Um, some cherry trees that I'm starting from seed. Uh, I've got some roselle, which is early, but I'm gonna try some of it now and some of it later. Some lettuces, some lime uh, cuttings from our lime bush, cassava, pink blueberries, and these are grapes from our plant that we trimmed down here. Um, some more kales, the cabbage I was telling you about, Brussels sprouts, some more lettuces over there. We're transplanting the cabbages that we have over here from uh, multiple ones in a cell to single ones. And then we're transplanting them over here because you can never have too much of anything. So. You never know what kind of pests you're going to get in the garden, so it's always good to have extra. But I like this so far. Everything has been structurally intact. The panels are staying in. Everything is working well. And so I'm curious, um, as you're watching this, what are you guys planting? What are you excited about this year? The things that I'm excited about are not actually vegetables per se. I'm excited about these blueberry cuttings that we have over here. And I'm excited about this roselle because I really love hibiscus tea. And so I really, really wanted to get my hands on some roselle to plant this year. And I was able to get some seeds. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it will go well. But I'm not growing for myself alone this year. I will be growing for my family and my new baby girl. I think this is going to be a much easier year in the greenhouse. We even have some Christmas lights to help keep this a little bit warmer at night. It's not going below freezing, but the... Um, the more chances that we have of it getting closer to a freeze point it would be nice to have a little bit of warmth in this greenhouse so we're trying some Christmas lights out it's keeping it about 60 degrees or so 65 degrees in the greenhouse so it's working out good we'll keep you guys posted on how this goes but again leave in the comments what you're excited to grow this year or if you have any other suggestions we should do with our greenhouse and until next time you guys thanks for watching